What is up guys, we doubles back here with a brand new video. In this video, we finally got a patch on Project Ascension, guys, and it finally came in hot with some pretty sick new changes. Not only have they rebalanced the way the game plays with a variety of different classes, like for example, hunter archetypes have been rebalanced, but they have also added a bunch of new ways to play the game, including one way I'll show you in this video. I've come up with a pretty cool tank spec that I really think you guys are going to enjoy, theory crafted with a brand new epic enchant that I also think you guys are really gonna enjoy because it's really badass and actually very uniquely made. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, we are level 21 for the beginning of this playthrough. I'm gonna be tanking this from scratch. Yes, a tank build, a holy tank build, by the way, sword and board using a brand new epic enchant that's going to be the quintessential tank paladin archetype in Project Ascension. This is badass. Now, what is this enchant I keep alluding to? Well, my friends, Light of the Guardian right here. This is going to be a new transform enchant that says it transforms my holy light into Light of the Guardian, a weaker instant cast heal that, just to paraphrase, allows you to, when you dodge parry your block, get off an attack that's going to heal you and do damage to everybody by 70% of the amount healed, and it actually is high threat damage as well that is shared between all enemies within 8 yards. I have to use Righteous Fury for this, so you might have been thinking, what is the point of a spell? that gets damage based on your healing with a tank spec. Where are you going to get the spell damage from? Or just the bonus healing? Whatever it might actually end up being. Well, Righteous Fury might actually help me with this. So guys, we haven't actually used this spell to tank with. We've used the uh, Mage one, we've used Defensive Stance, Bear Form, all those different things. But Righteous Fury says, my armor is increased by 10%. It's normally 10%. It's going to be 19% with talents I show you in a moment. And my spell damage, perhaps more importantly, is increased by 30% of my stamina allowing me to stack stamina and get damage that will go towards my different abilities that scale with it. Very, very nice. Now, I will show you the Light of the Guardian spell right here. You can see that as it's on my bar, it actually acts very similar to Victory Rush, so that's what I'm going to be pairing it with for our initial theory craft starting at level 21 here, because they do very similar things. I'm going to make it to where when I parry, I'm going to get off a of Victory Rush, and that's really solid, so we're going to get more and more parry into our spec, I think, alongside block, so that we can get off those Victory Rushes, and here heal myself for 10% of my maximum health. Really, really solid. But Light of the Guardian is still healing me, right? And it is proccing in the exact same way. So getting those blocks and parries is going to allow me to start throwing things out. I think Revenge could possibly be cool with this as well if you wanted to go down that route. Now, in terms of the other abilities we're starting with, I picked up the Consecration, and we're going to be using another Epic Enchant for the beginning of this video as well called Emanate Consecration. This essentially allows me to, as you can see, move with Consecration, and they've actually updated the uh, animations for this because this is way more pretty than what I remember using a while back. So you can see it's on my feet now and stuff. That's really, really nice. Very nice and visual. But it also gives me 3% reduced physical damage taken very solid as well. You're going to see a lot of reduced damage taken just from talents and different abilities we use with this build, so we end up very naturally tanky as well. I did get lucky! I got the Divine Protection! 50% reduced damage for 6 seconds, and it's a Pally spell, so we might be able to reduce that cooldown or increase that duration and double down on the talents that do that in the Pally tree later on as well. Got the Mark of the Wild! So we have armor and stats, solid buff, random healing wave, probably won't use it, but you never know, and you gotta love being the Tauren, guys, because he got the war stomp which is solid for a tank as well got my taunt early with the hand of reckoning as well so i think we're basically good to go now in terms of my starter talents i went improved righteous fury this is what gave me nine percent more bonus armor that you saw in the tooltip but it also reduces all damage i take by three percent as well i also went into block as soon as i could i went over here into the fury tree specifically first though and got improved victory rush this is what allows me to get off victory rushes off the parry which is quite nice 10 percent block from shield spec that's a bunch of block you get for three talent points really really like that and then back to the pally tree in the retribution talent tree and we have lights vengeance three percent parry and 100 percent chance when i parry to do holy damage to my attacker that does extra threat so everything is going to come together i've got a lot of really good ideas for this and starting at level 21 means that we actually have a decent amount of gear and abilities to where we should be able to showcase the build 
fairly effectively. So you can see I do have an aura for this, but we're all the way in TBC content on Ascension, so we have quite a few levels to get through. What I want to go ahead and do now, guys, is just queue up for a random dungeon and see what we can do. Now, I will say, recently, it's been very zoomy on Ascension, I'll just say, and uh, people are going fast. Like, they don't even wait for tanks anymore to play the game. It's, it's insane, really, if you think about it. So we'll see if we can find a group that actually allows us to play the class. Level 22, by the way, guys, off some random mobs in Hillsbred as we wait for the Q regrowth. Let's see. Water breathing and fireball garbage. We're gonna go water breathing, I guess. Oh, perfect, guys. Stormwind stocks, dude. Okay, guys, we got into Stormwind stocks, which is pretty freaking big, if you ask me, because it's so easy to play this one, right? It's also a lot of AoE tanking, a lot of really big pulls. I'm gonna go a little slow for this guy, because I am low level right now, so we've got the consecration up. I wanna get a proc. I'm gonna actually taunt this guy in the back towards me. Actually, no, let's taunt these guys over here. Yeah, they're coming. Now we can uh, just start moving a little bit. Oh, I'm disarmed. Just relax. Divine protection. There it is right there. Proc. Boom. We can keep going. We heal off those procs. It's so big. I am just actually going to taunt those guys near me and go for the consecration. Victory rush right there. A lot of self-healing. There's another self- I just realized three of my spells give me self-healing right now with this tank spec. It's actually really interesting. All right, guys, level 24. Holy Nova. Might as well take that. We'll see if we can make use of it later on. Me and the healer are getting to know each other. You know what I mean? All right, so I'm pulling this guy, the boss. Kill that guy real quick with a shield of righteousness. Go for the consecration. I definitely need better ways to get mana. The plan is to get my seal of the vengeance at max and then uh, go for a judgment. And the judgment will fix all my mana problems. Okay, that's the end of the dungeon. 26, Serpent Sting, Thunderclap. Interesting. Multi-shot. I'll go thunderclap just in case we'll keep it for like the future you never know i want to stick to the holy theme but it's not too bad all right i'm doing another big pull towards the end just like get all these rooms done uh because it is free xp with my aura right now keeping up the consecration there's another proc i love the procs <laughs> it's gonna be so fun if we end up getting hammer of the righteous and pious strikes dude because you're just gonna spam that right spam it then go for the shield of righteous go for all my heals it's gonna be heal central with every single attack i throw out it already is uh but it's gonna get even better okay here's my last one. Oh no it went away again very short period of time guys on light of the guardian you've really got to prioritize that okay and so with that we got improved consecration turning consecration basically into a holy thunderclap and reducing all damage i take by three percent this with the uh spiritual attunement for five percent total now reduced damage taken and then with improved righteous fury for eight percent reduced damage taken is actually pretty nutty if you think about it this is just gonna get more powerful as we scale as well so let's queue up again all right guys sfk let's do it level 32 right now i've got uh consecration and thunderclap on my bars and we're going real hard with this light of the guardian now i just saw a 377 pretty sure that came from that okay there we go oh it is i think it's a 377 heal oh my goodness we can thunderclap just as a uh well basically a way to fill when i don't have anything else to do just like a filler spell okay victory rush this is actually a really big pull there we go gained a level Boom, 395 Light of the Guardian. Holy crap, it's scaling really well. I don't want to overdo it just because I'm cocky. Okay, somebody else, a DPS randomly pulled a bunch of guys. Great, okay. See, I was trying to avoid this. I could do this, by the way. I'm not stupid to the DPS that did it. Uh, I was trying to purposefully not do this so we don't make the healer want to pull his hair out. But okay, we're surviving. I'll definitely take it. Do you see what I mean now? Like, I literally can't get into a dungeon where people don't hyper pull on me. And I'm fast, man. I really am. So I went ahead and I went into five points in anticipation for 5% more block and some more block value. And we're going to go into reckoning as well for more parry. I'm going to double down on block and parry as much as I can. Okay, level 34. Let's see. Seal of command. Don't need that. Going to go for the vengeance. Uh, greater heal scorch. Just greater heal, I guess. All right, here's a proc. Oh, 468 healed and victory rush. 155 heal very very nice okay so my shield broke and i'm still pushing on man i still have parries right so hopefully it's gonna be enough okay there's a level 36 distracting shot shadow form and earth living all garbage gonna go distracting shot okay i'm in orgrimmar right now i did just get done with some dungeons but i've been leaving dungeons actually mostly because i have an aura and could care less but also it's because people won't let you play as the tank it's actually amazing i thought it was a one-off or a two-off but uh no it's been like a four or five off so far and it's actually inhibiting my ability to level it's not good content to show you guys uh, where, you know, DPS and healers are pulling things randomly for no reason that's actually causing us to wipe. It's happened so many times. I've left so many so far. I don't know what's changing about the Ascension community, but uh, yeah, I'm watching it happen right before our very eyes. Okay, Maradon Purple Crystals. People literally don't know this dungeon enough, so I think these guys are going to let me play the game because they don't want it to take longer than it has to. And I don't want to immediately jump when I have these aggroed because they'll pull everything. So let's see if these guys understand that. They seem to. Okay, this is actually a group of high quality players, and I'm very very, very happy. I'm not gonna lie, I just got done with like five dungeons where I really wasn't even the tank. Okay, huge, huge pull. Really scary, actually. Divine protection up. Boom, smacking on a 431 heal from the Light of the Guardian right there. Thunderclap as well. 
I am taking big damage, though. There's another one, though. Huge. Pulled a guy from stealth. Not good. Healer is actually super pog. Okay, not too bad. Not perfect. A little scuffed, but we made it. The problem is that so many dungeons like Stocks and SFK and WC, like they- and Deadmines, they don't test you at all, and they're actually so easy that you don't even need a tank for them. So I think that conditions people to play like they don't even think the game is hard, and then people get in here and suddenly it's hard, and it's like, whoa, what the hell's going on? It's like, yeah, I know, trust me. All right, there's another proc right there. Short Sword of the Vengeance uh, dropped, or of Vengeance dropped. Nice. I'll uh, taunt that guy back to me. No worries. Look at the damage spike I take. Holy crap, Divine Protection's up right now. But if we don't have the DPS to knock these guys out, I could die again. So you do need to pay attention to your health, like more of like a Blood Death Knight. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Like I said, I am actually a fast puller. Like I remember the days where people would be like, bro, you are too fast. It's like, okay, my bad, let me slow myself down. And now it's like, oh, apparently, uh, <laughs> if the DPS aren't pulling for you, you're going too slow. All right, there we go. 470 heal, 1659 from the healer, by the way. Like I have some really good healers. This was actually the patch of healers, by the way. Like there were so many new things added for like healers. I actually predicted that one of the things that could make penance really good is if they found a balanced way to give you an aoe effect on the penance and guess what guys not to spoil too much because we'll probably make a build out of it they added ways to make penance aoe level 40 by the way let's just take the mind blast for now and what else do we get healing touch presence of mind purify i don't think i go for the purify right like i think that's somebody else's job the healer's job i'm gonna go i don't know that's a little weird now nah, there's better things i could get i'm gonna go healing touch all right can i heal myself boom yes i can Yes, I can. I can thunderclap, and then I can, uh, shield. This guy's evasion is very nasty, though. Nice, there we go. 41 off that. Okay, can we actually survive this? I'm popping cooldowns ASAP basically every time, because, uh, these guys slap. After this, we're gonna go and hit up the auction house, get some brand new gear. Here's a heal, by the way. 525 on that light of the Guardian. And to see if the extra gear helps tremendously. All right, emanate consecration up. Let's just relax for a second and kill these trents. Another big, big proc. 1626 heals coming from my healer, which is quite nice. All right, here's another proc. Boom, 530. Love it. These procs are so good, dude. Can you just imagine if I could filler everything with, uh, like I said, Hammer of the Righteous and maybe a Judgment as well? I'd be set, dude. No Thunderclap required for the end game build. It's going to be real easy. All right, boom. Let's take this guy. I don't want to get too ahead of myself because luckily my DPS are also my level as well, so they're relaxing. Uh, but the DPS is a little low right now, so we need to kill this guy. And after we kill this guy, then we can move on to this. I'm super low on mana, which is not good. But we're going to go in for it because I have the Thunderclap. And then I have a stun. And then I have a proc, which is nice because the proc doesn't seem to cost that much mana. It's 156. It could be worse. But I was able to get one off there despite being low. There's a victory rush as well. I wonder if healers are going to really enjoy healing me as well when I get into M+, plus because I'm going to be naturally self-healing for large amounts, way larger than I'm used to as a tank. All right, I'm going to pull this group as well because I just don't trust that we won't accidentally pull it during the boss fight. It just makes sense to get it out of the way right now. And plus, I think that me and the healer, we kind of understand each other now. And uh, it's going really smooth. And that's one thing that definitely has to happen sometimes. The healer, the DPS, the tank, all of us have to get used to each other. And then things go a million times smoother. So you tend to understand when somebody's going to get spiked, for example. The pace at which somebody's going to pull. How much the person can heal for. Uh, notice how I immediately told you guys how much my healer was healing me for. It's important to keep that on your mind when you're tanking. What can my healer burst? Well, it looks like about 1600. So I'm pretty much safe. Another short sword of vengeance. What the hell? All right, I'm going to greed on that. Right, so two dudes appear right here. We can take those out first with the thunderclap. Let's not make the boss fight any harder than it has to be. I really just want to give a big shout out to all four of these guys. Thank you so much. You're the first group I've been with so far that has just allowed me to actually be a normal tank. And I think it went well because this is like a five or six, seven maybe minute run. All right, maybe if I war stomp, it removes. No, it doesn't remove the evasion like it does the player version. Oh God, big damage there. Oh, I took big damage. Don't let me die, healer. All right, I'm good. His crits are so amazing. His healing... <laughs> It's so top tier. He's out of mana, though. Can I self-heal at all? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, I can. There we go. Light of the Guardian proc. Wonderful Light of the Guardian proc. Come on. Oh, yes. Good job, guys. GG. Healer insta-leaves, by the way. That makes me feel good. Okay, uh, what do we get? Corruption, Summon Imp, Overpower. Do you take Summon Imp for the fort buff as a tank? I'd rather have Voidwalker. I'm gonna go Overpower. I won't use it, but okay, what's next? Levitate, Curse of Tongues, Frost Resistance Aura. I'll go Levitate. You never know when that can be useful. What the hell is this talent, guys? Divinity requires Righteous Fury, increases all healing effects on me by what I can assume is gonna end up being 10%. Let's put our two points into it. So it's eight. it might go to 12%. Reduces all damage I take by 6%, I'm assuming, and then increases my 
my healing power by what I assume is going to be 60% of my stamina. What the hell? Primary stat has to be strength though. So this doubles down really hard with the build I'm playing because I need healing power for my spell, the brand new epic enchant we're using. Capstone bonus, by the way, says the final rank of this talent says being healed by others will reduce the cooldown of divine protection by two seconds and holy shield by one second. Wow. So basically every second I have a chance of reducing the cooldown on divine protection. And if we get the holy shield, that as well. This is getting really, really good, guys. Healing power is at 66 right now as a tank. Level 44. Nice. Nice. All right, let's queue again. Okay, so after the dungeons you guys just saw, I went ahead and I did two dungeons with the same group. The first one we did went extremely smooth. It was a Scarlet Monastery run, and I was able to actually be a tank. It went so nice that uh, I just wanted to lean back and just enjoy the dungeon. That's exactly what I did. The next one was a horrible dungeon, Razor Fen, but uh, it went really smooth as well. So we went and we did that one, and that's when we got to this point right here. Okay, guys, level 50 at the end of the second dungeon, uh, Razor Fen Crawl with the same group we got avengers shield offered to us huge guys definitely gonna take it literally my favorite ability in all of world of warcraft so happy that we get to use it finally and heart of a gumagon which we can use over the century shield of stamina i'll take that as well always good to have a blue shield just something that you know is not too bad when your entire build relies on blocking and parrying you know what i mean wow guys they've literally completely made amazing new talents for this exact type of spec it's basically building itself i keep discovering new talents that i haven't even been able to look at for so long look at this touched by the light Receiving effective healing from others has a chance to increase your direct healing on yourself by what I can only imagine will end up being about 25%. Now it says when fully stacked, direct healing has a 100% chance to shroud you in light. While active, taking direct damage will heal me for who knows what it ends up being, but 30% of the damage taken plus 63. It can only happen once a second. Wow. That's really cool to me. I'll take it. I'm going to start going into it. Touched by the light. And we have maxed out divinity now. Maxed out redoubt for 10% more block. Really, really cool. The build is literally so freaking thematic. It is what a pally should have been. Because a lot of the times people think, isn't a prop pally just a warrior with a little bit of a holy flare? Well, yes, you would be right in many expansions of WoW. But in this version, it looks like it's its own separate thing. Okay, guys, this might actually be the last dungeon before we get into TBC content. And I want to show you guys an interesting epic enchant that I just got. Swift Avenger. So I'll put it up on the screen now but essentially what it does is it allows my avenger shield to hit more than the normal amount of targets allowing me to really go pretty fast with it because it also gives me movement speed just for using the ability so hopefully we can get one off in a moment that actually shows you the power of this i'm just going to keep pulling really fast because we were lucky enough to get into an rfc which should be really really nice and easy we are really starting to scale i have 649 light of the guardians right now and we're going to fix our mana problem super duper soon okay this is a mega mega pull all right, here's the uh, Avenger shield, by the way. It hits so many guys for 500. Here's another one, by the way. Oh, yeah. See, one of the reasons I like this is because one of the banes of all tanks, really, is a caster sitting in the back, right? We hate casters, man. And Avenger shield lets you deal with them really, really nicely. All right, can we actually survive this? Remember, everything is scaling, so I should be taking damage right now. Decent damage, so to say. Uh, okay, wait, wait. Light the Guardian. Boom. Huge, huge heal. Oh, yeah, this is easy. This is easy. Nice. Level 52 already, guys. Holy crap, this is good. Every time I gain a level, I reset my Avenger Shield cooldown, too. My favorite build in the past was the one that I made that got nerfed, and now it's not actually available because they nerfed it to hell. But I actually made it to where Avenger Shield had like a four or five second cooldown, and I spammed it in PvP. I was literally a shield based PvP spec, which a lot of people want outside of just Hoplite, you know what I mean? But it was nerfed because apparently it was too overpowered. It got nerfed in the TBC alpha, so nobody actually got to play it unless they were actually in that alpha you can still kind of reduce the cooldown of the avengers shield but not by as much as you used to the one thing i like 671 light of the guardian by the way is that i can actually lie to the guardian and it's not directional right it just goes all around me so i can just keep running i am taking bigger hits in this regard though so i should relax because it looks like the healer might be struggling a bit. Okay, they got off a greater heal. That's nice. Can't move too much because a lot of these healers, they rely entirely on castable heals. You can see the greater heal going out. Once they get it off, though, it's pretty good. Okay, let's see how many we can hit with this. One, two. Oh, just two. Okay, I thought it might keep bouncing. How amazing would that be? All right, divine protection. You think this is scary, but it's really not. I take 50% reduced damage right now. And uh, I can actually heal myself, but I don't need to yet. I'll do it right here. Boom. 797, Light of the Guardian right there. That's actually really nice. We're starting to pump, guys. We're starting to pump. I'm going to actually pull that guy with the taunt. And I've actually, by the way, used Righteous Defense. So there is some applicability with it. Apparently, with some of the talents I have, a Righteous Defense will reset the cooldown on my Hand of Reckoning. So there might be some synergy there. I'm just going to Swift Justice right there. Go super fast. You can see the speed coming from that uh, epic enchant I just showed you guys. I'm actually going to Horn right here as well. 
and just start going hard. Consecration, I'll take less damage because of the Consecration. Divine Protection, just so, uh, you know, my healer has a second to breathe. And, uh, boom, big heal, 702. Oh my god, this is gonna be so lit at max, dude. Like, the TBC content's really gonna start to test us, and that's what I'm really excited about as well. But, uh, the Mythic Plus content, that's big. This guy is one of my old tank characters, by the way. We played Bear Tank on it, though, so I don't have that many right pieces of gear, let's just say. I do have a Azure Shield of Koldara and a Latro Shifting Sword, but we can do better, you know what I mean? So this video is really gonna be focusing on getting tank upgrades for this guy as well. One of the things we do on this channel is we constantly try new builds but we use the same characters and so it's always important to make progress in the progression side of things so that we can keep getting on those characters and tackling actual relevant content luckily magtheridon's lair i believe is as far as things go right now but maybe in a few weeks we're gonna get that uh lady vosh raid which is gonna be interesting because i've almost never done that one so that's gonna be fresh content okay let's see what we get lightning shield cure disease soul fire cure disease i guess another one by the way wrath chain heal dragon's breath wow i'm gonna go for the wrath actually i don't want to take things like uh the dragon's breath that are kind of pointless for the spec that is okay there we go 56 off that corruption pyroblast Strength of the Earth Totem. I'm gonna go Corruption, same concept. Okay, it's gonna take one more dungeon, and then we're gonna be in TBC content. So this next RFC ended up being an absolute limit test. I went so far with my pulls, you would actually say, maybe I went too far, but I didn't die. Yeah, I was able to go so fast with Swift Avenger, pulling mobs like crazy, and I did not stop. And it was so insanely good, the amount that we were able to pull, with the amount of success we were able to have in the process, and the crazy amount of self-healing I had, by the way, in the process as well, that my healer actually ended up falling in love with me saying a nice little goodbye sweet prince at the end of the dungeon gg man hope to see you again in the future okay guys level 61 let's see mind vision vampiric touch execute garbage garbage and garbage and oh what is the oh no okay seal of vengeance i do like that and want no, that holy God. shield no the sad thing is holy shield is just better here i definitely want a seal and i've had a million seals offered to me had i known this was going to happen i would have picked one of the many that were offered to me and that's a big f this guy's telling me in pm to take the sealed because the lucky can show up again but the fact of the matter is the lucky is too good here compared to the sealed uh and that's a big problem the other guy says you can take the non-lucky and still get a lucky in the future yeah but i'm level 61 so i know what you guys are saying but it's just no holy shield's just too good here i have to take it i appreciate the uh, input from these guys but i'm gonna go holy shield we've seen so many things where holy shield actually is required and makes a difference and it plays really really hard into what's going to make this build good unlike divine protection shield wall requires the defensive stance divine protection can be used with anything though i kind of wish it required righteous fury but the point of course is that i don't have as many defensive cooldowns if i don't take the holy shield as i may have had with other tank specs so i've got to make this happen if i actually want this build to be viable okay so i told these guys the boss the second boss wasn't worth doing on normal mode and they got extremely mad at me so note to self, don't ever do that. Okay, guys, I did some dungeons and I got to the Ring of Blood. And guys, we just got Hammer of the Righteous offered to us with a lucky card. That's huge. And yeah, guys, this puts us in a really, really good position for Max. Because I think we nailed all of the core abilities that we needed. Everything at this point is just a bonus. Like Avatar, for example. All right, we could turn this in as well. Boom, level 69. And there we go, level 70, guys. Let's see. Uh, flame Strike, Repost, or Cat Form. Yikes. Okay, Flame Strike, I guess. Okay, so ultimately what I think I'm going to do is replace swift avenger is really good while leveling i think i really enjoyed it but for max we're gonna go for pious strikes i can put that on the screen now it combines my hammer of the righteous with things like holy nova and i'm gonna heal myself and everybody else as a result of it it's very thematic i don't know how badly i need it but i definitely want to try it wow guys i actually am re-rolling right now at max i was getting ready to show you guys what i've come up with and i just got seal of vengeance and i really just couldn't believe it and i just had to talk about it I mean, we didn't even have to get lucky we just got it let's see if i can actually actually get it actually let's see yeah i can replace the healing touch no problem okay so now we have seal of vengeance and i have a few more rerolls i can do i'm looking for something like avatar if i'm honest with you this is one of the new changes by the way 210 percent ranged weapon damage on a chimera shot that's insane dude what this is called temporary enslaved demon now why is it called temporary that is so weird looking huh Okay, but well, I think this is the build. Let's see, last one. Yeah, yeah, this <laughs> yeah, is complete garbage. Okay, so here's what we end up getting, guys. I've got the whole holy arsenal. I've got the divine protection, as you guys know, and the holy shield. We nailed the avenging wrath, my friends. And I bought a bunch of PvP gear that is at least statted right, and that's gonna be a solid start.
start. Okay, I also have the Hammer of the Righteous, as you guys know. What will end up being our epic enchant right here with the Holy Light, Consecration, Avenger's Shield, all the things you guys know about, like I said, but we got the Seal of Vengeance, we got Rockbiter Weapon, Blessing of Sanctuary, which is really interesting. This is gonna help me get my mana up as well because I did not nail a Judgment, which is a really big F. And of course, we have the Mark of the Wild and also randomly Earth Elemental Totem as well. So I wanna queue for a dungeon and see how this goes. I'm gonna get all my enchants on that I think I'm gonna need real quick and I'll see you guys in a moment. So the first thing I did was just spam Q heroics. I needed to get gear. My item level was low. It's my least geared character for sure right now. And uh, we're also basically converting because once upon a time, I was going to focus on bear specs. We did like two or three of them. We did a bunch of episodes, but now I want to go more plate, more block, more parry even and see what I can do in that regard. I want to double down with the victory rush and with the brand new holy light transformation spell to just parry things and block things like crazy, get my procs and heal myself i want to heal myself in any way that i possibly can we're benefiting from those talents as well and that's exactly what i did one of the things you might be noticing is that we were able to pull extremely large and uh, i just really limit tested myself the entire time even to the dismay of my party sometimes i wanted to pull as big as humanly possible because i really wanted to push this build at the gear level i was at to see what it's actually going to look like when i get into m0 if i can handle a pull that's way too big for my item level then something's going right with my build especially when you consider all of the other things going into it like not having enough pve power is also 20 percent increased damage if you want to look at it like that so things are definitely not in your favor when you're low geared now i needed to find a legendary enchant that was really going to make this build shine so i ended up going with the purification by light my damaging abilities have a chance to do damage basically and it causes a consecration effect and and exorcism effect basically at the same time it also scales with both of those abilities and i do have both of those abilities so it worked out pretty well i personally want the active version of holy shield meaning i cannot go crimson champion i could toss that up on the screen right now which is a more traditional pally tank spec why because while it seems to be the only legendary enchant that's specifically designed for pallies i'd like to see more legendary enchants i guess in that regard maybe some that aren't like crazy crazy build arounds maybe something more subtle you know that would be really really nice with the build like i've got right now now in order to double down on that i went with this hammer epic enchant right here that is going to increase the duration of holy shield every time i hammer of the righteous something we're spamming already so no pious strikes we're gonna go with this instead you'll also see a bunch of rare enchants that are just basically a conglomeration of parry and dodge and block and then you'll also see extra mana coming from spiritual attunement gives me mana when i'm healed by other friendly target spells and that's equal to 12 percent of the effective amount healed pretty good when people are doing like healing touch greater heal holy light anything like that if i'm honest with you healing wave so i'll take it we're expertise capped obviously as well and yeah we've gotten quite a few decent pieces of gear i was able to pick up gear from the heroics like the girdle of valorous deeds and also after farming enough badges the face guard of determination i also picked up in the normal Karazhan hand that i actually tanked which is pretty amazing if you think about it because uh being able to go ahead and tank a normal Karazhan with my gear with this build to main tank it and to do it effectively minimal deaths is actually pretty impressive and i was very very happy with that it's a good start for tanking on somebody that we don't actually get to tank on too often right now so what did i ended up doing in that normal cares and well i ended up picking up the following items first and foremost i got lucky on the glove drop and got justicar handguards this is literally made for me so i think end game i want to get something like this just to have the full set of justicar and get the spell power the parry the defense the block value from those pieces of gear that's actually perfect for my build i also ended up getting the vambruses of courage guys and this is what we have our main epic enchant on this is defense and block rating and pve power which is probably the most important part you need 300 50 pve power now to do an m0 which kind of gate keeps me because it's forcing you now to just spam heroics which if you're like me and you've done one dozen of them so far and you're still not ready for m0 but you know you can do m0 skill wise because it's not particularly difficult it makes you wonder you know what's going on regardless of any of that guys we actually came out with a pretty strong holy based tank character i really really enjoy this new epic chance and there's a lot of other really cool new ones i just wanted to showcase this one in this video it's pretty sick we made a 
lot of gear progression on this guy in this video and overall i'm pretty happy with how it went what i want to go ahead and do guys we're going to do a shorter video today uh because we've been doing a lot of long ones i like to mix it up for people that don't have all day to watch one video and what i want to do is do the giveaway from the last video we're giving out a mount in this video by the way a mount and some transmog so let me go ahead and jump on the giveaway character and let's make it happen okay guys i have the link from the last video let's go ahead and pick a winner and let's see who's going to win the mount we'll do the mount for the very first one and then i think i'm going to give away uh, a bunch of different transmogs as well consolation prizes you could almost say okay pick a winner for the mount i can't read that but i can read this to be honest started the play session because of your videos thank you dude you make great content that is great for people who just started thank you i try to make my content actually as uh, inclusive as possible i wanted to be able to hit people basically of all ranges well thank you al Goodell, because you just won the most expensive prize today okay so i'm on the baller right here the giveaway character and let's see oh my god there's more stuff being sent to me this is a guy whose name never changes and so people do donate things that i can give back to you guys that i don't keep for myself except for 300 of this gold sorry you dude but i will spend the rest of that on golden skill cards don't worry that gold went towards the character you wanted to see so i feel like it's fair anyway uh let's see what we can do with this let's get the amount that we need to get where is it there it is right there swift zevra rats on your mount drop mate hope you enjoy using it or selling it whichever you prefer love Big doubles. There you go, buddy. GG. Okay, so what you're seeing in the background is me going super, super fast and sending the next five people that won a free mog. I don't want the whole video to be full of me reading very minor things like a guy saying nice or, you know, it, none of these were like huge substantial messages, but big, big grats to all of you guys that did win something. And there will be a giveaway for the next video. If you want to enter for that and have a chance at winning a mount, we're going to be giving away the Savage Raptor. All you need to do, guys, is once again, like the video, leave your end game name in the comments section below and then you'll have a chance of winning in the next video so one thing i do want to point out before we do actually give our final thoughts and end the video is this brand new feature discord apparently just released today as far as i can tell so the day of the release of this video and that is a forum that will actually be within the discord itself so you don't have to go to something like reddit or wherever else you go for your forum content you could go straight here and there's going to be a reddit-esque forum in that style right in the discord and i've already started to set it up so uh if you want to do that and post some stuff whether it's memes or serious stuff or whatever you can do that and it might actually help you find information as well you could post something just like you would in a normal forum and see if people respond i don't know i kind of like the idea though and you can you know use the different emotes and stuff like that for upvotes i don't know it's pretty neat so make sure to check that out in the discord link is always in the description below but okay guys if you enjoyed the light of the guardian tank with the brand new epic chance that just came out and you want to see more and you can't wait to see more Make sure to give this video a like and to subscribe for more WoW content, custom WoW stuff, and all that jazz. More Turtle WoW should be coming up episode 4. We'll see if you guys like it. We'll see if that even continues. More Ascension coming as well. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Big Doubles out. <laughs>